Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to your reading. This is a bonus reading, and we're going to look at where you will be in uh, one year's time. So we're just going to jump right in here, and we're going to take a look. Uh, we're actually going to first look at the where you will be in six months, and then we're going to clarify. And uh, the clarification plus what we have here will be the full year, if that makes sense. Uh, also, if you're wondering, I'm using the Golden Tarot by Cat Black. Uh, this is the Cat Black version. They're actually several different golden tarots, but I always get questions and this is the deck that we're going to use. So uh, let's see here what is going on for you. And again, this first part of the reading is going to be focusing on the next uh, six months or so. You have this ninth house card here and it just says exploration on it. So, <laughs> you know, I feel like a lot of you could be exploring things in within the next six months and you some of you could be actually moving here is kind of what I'm seeing but I feel there could be a lot of exploring going on in your life in general with this ninth house card and I do feel like it'll be a good thing uh, for a lot of you this looks like financial you have the ace of pentacles and the six of pentacles the way that I see these two together is that the six of pentacles is trying to figure out how to get the best bang for your buck, trying to figure out like how, what are the things that I do that make me the most money? What are the things that I do that lead to the most financial balance in my life? And so I feel a lot of you are exploring those ideas and will be exploring more, those ideas more over the next six months. And it's just going to lead to probably more money. You have the Ace of Pentacles, the Page of Cups and the Six of Pentacles. So like I said, I feel that for a lot of you, you're looking at how to get the best bang for your buck. I, I think this makes a lot of sense considering that we're in a recession, but here's the thing <laughs> is that I'm getting more abundance, not less abundance. I think it's easy to say that you are focusing on money and all, trying to save money and things like that, but that's not what I'm getting here. This is different because Six of Pentacles is like where I put my energy, what do I get out? I look at it as a card of planting seeds. He's investing maybe into the future of something and he's trying to do it in balance. So to me, the Six of Pentacles is a card of planting seeds. Also, the Ace of Pentacles is a card of planting seeds because it kind of represents the garden. Even uh, a lot of tarot books, they refer to the garden. They kind of talk a lot about the garden, I should say, that is on the Ace of Pentacles. So it, a garden, when you think about it, if you want your garden to grow, you have to take care of it. You have to fertilize it, water it, all that other stuff. So I feel you are very much focused on finding ways to increase your finances, finding ways to grow your finances, your business, how you make money, whatever the case may be. I feel you're very, I feel you will be successful at it as well. You also have the Page of Cups. Page of Cups, I partially feel is your imagination. I do feel you're very tapped in at this time over the next six months and probably definitely after six months. So I feel you're very tapped in and you could be getting a lot of great ideas you know, in your imagination or in your, really, I feel it's your intuition and I'll show you why in just a second, but I feel you're really tapped in to your intuition. And this could be where a lot of these good ideas are coming from. I don't want to get too far ahead, but if we look at this middle row, you have the page of cups, the nine of swords to the king of pentacles with the moon, you know, very imaginative energy. I feel the nine of swords in the moon you know, the moon is your also your imagination. I feel like that nine of swords, the moon together are kind of also fears, you know, fears about whether or not your ideas are good. And I just, you know, if I had one warning for what I see here, it would be that I wouldn't even think about it, right? If you have an idea, I would try it. Who cares if it's successful or not? Six of Pentacles is about planting seeds. It says, you know, some of your seeds are going to sprout take care of those seeds that sprout. Some of your seeds are not going to sprout. Just, you know, let them go. <laughs> and it's just that simple. And that's what I would do here. Uh, next, you have this disseminating moon card. It says, take, what does it say? It says, take time to breathe out, right? Make sure that you are breathing. Make sure to watch out for tension as well. If you're just breathing in, you know, you're creating a lot of tension. I feel those moments where we can exhale are going to be very important. You're not the only sign in these next six month part, part of the readings that have kind of said it would be a good time to relax, rest, do those things, take care of yourself. So make sure you're taking time to rest, relax, recover, all that other good stuff here with this card. You have the nine, Ace of Swords, the Nine of Swords, and the Judgment card. The Ace of Swords is a victory. It is also a card of success. Uh, just like everybody else, uh, as I've said all year, this year, 2022, I do feel that some of you are going to be letting some things go, going through transformations. You see this butterfly right here. 
And I also feel you're going to be accepting some new things into your life. We are in a time of great change, time of great transformation. So it doesn't really surprise me. The Ace of Swords represents a sacrifice. Normally, there's a palm frond on one side of the Ace of Swords, and it kind of represents sacrificing things, letting things go. There's an olive branch on the other, and the olive branch represents you know, peace, but it can also represent abundance, and uh, those things come in for you as well. You do have the Nine of Swords. Again, there's a dog on this Nine of Swords. I couldn't even pick it up. You see this dog barking at him right here. The Nine of Swords is a card that says you can be the bug or the windshield. And, you know, normally there's a person on the bed on a traditional Nine of Swords. And one person has a sword and the other person's like on their back. They're about to get hit by the sword. It's one of those cards that sometimes to me says you can be the bug or the windshield. You can pay attention to the things that are going on around you so that you can avoid any potential issues or problems or you can just be the windshield or the bug and you can just get hit by things, right? So for whatever reason, I am getting a need to kind of pay attention to the warning signs. Again, I wouldn't be paranoid about this. I always hesitate to deliver these messages, but I do, it is showing up here and I do feel it's important intuitively. So again, I don't think we need to be paranoid freaks at right now, but what I would say is that if you see something and you kind of feel it's a warning, I would trust yourself more than anyone else. I wouldn't even trust me, right? <laughs> as I always say. And, um, you know, I would pay attention to anything that you see as a warning. Like if you feel like, hey, maybe I should just be aware of X, whatever's going on around me or, you know, whatever's happening in the world or whatever's happening in your own little world, right? I would pay attention to those warnings. I wouldn't be paranoid about it. I would just pay attention to it so that you can not be surprised, right? Uh, next, you have the judgment card. I do feel that you're waking up to something here, and this could be your a dream. You have the Knight of Cups right next to it. I, sometimes I look at the card next to whatever this card is, you know, and I just say, like, what is, what are they waking up to? And I feel like you're waking up to maybe your true purpose or uh, something that you've been dreaming of working on for a very long period of time. It's almost like the universe is helping you out here in this last row for you to accomplish your true purpose. Personally, I believe that our purpose here on earth is to create our own reality, whatever that is for you, and to, you know, create more joy and abundance for everyone <laughs> uh, in the world. And, you know, but what I would say is whatever you think your purpose is, I feel like you're getting closer to it. And if you don't know what it is, then again, I feel like you're getting closer to whatever it is. You have this leg up card, and I feel that this is a boost from the universe. It's like you're receiving a little bit of a boost here. You're getting closer to your personal vision for your life or whatever you feel your destiny is, whatever you want to call it. And I feel that you're, this could potentially be a person, but I also feel it's kind of the universe as well. The reason I say that is that you have the hermit right here. The hermit is a card of having gone through a dark night of the soul. And we'll talk more about that in a second, but you have the hermit, the king of pentacles, the moon with the knight of cups. The hermit, again, He's gone through a dark night of the soul or something similar, and he has done this to find some inner answers. The hermit kind of represents a rite of passage as well, so it can represent a period of time where you've gone through something difficult, maybe over the past you know, certain amount of time, whatever it is, and now you're coming out on top. And because of that, you could be receiving like a reward from the universe or a gift from the universe, whatever you want to call it. I partially feel that this gift is being lifted up. I also feel that there could be a person who is very helpful to you on your journey. This could be love, although I feel this person here is one person, by the way. I feel they embrace both of these energies, the King of Pentacles and the Moon. I feel like they're very resourceful, very stable, very successful probably in life. And the Moon could be very intuitive as well. So they probably have like an intuitive side or they just have that gut sense is really what I'm picking up on here with the Moon. So this could be an earth sign, could also be a Pisces, take it how it resonates, but I kind of feel this is more of the person's energy, and I feel that if you have a person like that in your life, that they could be very helpful. If you don't have a person like this in your life, I do feel that there will be a person just like this entering into your life. Uh, for most of you, intuitively, again, I feel this could be a friend. So I feel like this person is either becoming a friend or you're meeting that this person with friends. And I also feel that this person could be very specifically kind of, it's almost like they're a guide in your life. I, you know, I, I, I wouldn't give them that much power, <laughs> but what I would say is, you know, I feel this is a person who can help you like in business or in your career. It's, they have some good ideas, or maybe they have a skill that you don't have. And it's kind of like you work together. So if you've been hoping to find a business partner or someone who can just help you, or just have a person that can help guide you, looks like there is a person coming in for you. 
And uh, finally, you have the Knight of Cups here. Knight of Cups is a knight in shining armor. Some of you could be being swept off your feet for sure in love. So I definitely feel it doesn't even want to focus. Uh, I definitely feel love for you here, Cancer, with the Knight of Cups. I'm not even going to try over there. So I feel if you want love, this could be a person coming in for you. And I do feel it could be another water sign. Uh, for others, Knight of Cups, he's dreaming of his future life. He's dreaming of all the things that, you know, he wants to have, do, create, whatever. And I feel some of you are kind of getting closer to your dreams, right? But let's clarify this now. This clarification part, we're going to bring it out the whole entire reading all together. We're going to bring it out to where you will be one year from now. So let's see. With the Ace of Pentacles, you have the King of Wands. You're in a much more bold, assertive position, that's for sure. I feel like you're feeling like a boss. King of Wands is like my boss energy. <laughs> uh, I love this, especially with that Ace of Pentacles. Sometimes I feel when we get a card like the Ace of Pentacles then goes to the King of Wands, that's almost as if you have proven something to yourself. You have created something, whatever it is, it's grown over a certain amount of time, and now you feel like you can do it again. He, he does not hesitate about anything, King of Wands. And again, it doesn't matter what gender you are. I feel like you're just embracing this energy. And again, yes, I understand it's fire energy. So, but I just feel this is the energy you're embracing over the next year or by the time we get to a year from now. And it's like, you're very bold. I feel like you're very sure of yourself as well. I love that combination. <laughs> that really makes me feel really good about this reading. I wasn't so sure like what direction it's going in, but I love that because King wants, he's very sure of himself. It's almost as if a year from now in the future, you're going to be very sh sure of the things that you're starting with that Ace of Pentacles, much more certain, probably because you will have accomplished something over the next year. It's like, again, he is sure of himself because he's done it before. He's done something before, especially with the Ace of Pentacles. With the Page of Cups, you have the Death card. Could be a Scorpio coming in for some of you that want love. Uh, intuitively, the words not traditional popped into my head. So uh, I feel that for some of you. I also feel if you're attracting love, some of you, again, take it how it resonates, but some of you, there could be some sort of difference here that like your parents don't agree with. It's popping into my head. Like maybe if you come from a religious background or a certain cultural background or whatever, uh, the person that you could be with um, might be different <laughs> and uh, your parents might not agree with it. I don't know. It's popping into my head. Take it how it resonates. For some of you, that's not going to be true. And uh, by the way, if it is true, I feel like your parents will get over it. So there you go. Problem solved. Uh, with the Six of Pentacles, you have the Temperance card. Six of Pentacles is necessary because that's how we learn temperance, by the way. Uh, you know, Six of Pentacles is planting seeds, figuring out what works. Uh, temperance is about turning one thing into another, turning a negative into a positive. You could turn a positive into a negative as well with the Temperance card. But Temperance always reminds me to not give up. Like if you're working on something like a project or a business, Temperance says you can keep working with the energy and eventually you'll find a way that works. Like this Temperance angel isn't giving up, trying to turn water into wine. Six of Pentacles is very similar because... With Six of Pentacles, you're planting seeds, you're figuring out what things work, what things don't work in your life or in your business or in your love life, and then you're going with it. The thing with temperance is I think that it's important to build like a library of things that work in your brain. It's like when you learn a bunch of ways to get things to work in business, if it works in one business, it's probably gonna work in another. So you become very well-rounded. I definitely get that energy here for you with that King of Wands. Some of you could be becoming more entrepreneurial, but maybe not literally like with a business, right? But although definitely if you are, I feel like this is very good. But what I would say is that the King of Wands, again, he understands that he has a library of knowledge in his head. He understands that if something worked in the in, in something else, he it, it'll probably work in something similar. I hope that makes sense. That's what I'm getting here. With the Ace of Swords, you have the uh, Nine of Pentacles. Definitely a lot of abundance coming in for you. I'm telling you right now, uh, abundance looks dope for the water signs, I have to say. So I feel there could be a lot of abundance just coming in for water energy in general, becoming much more self-sufficient as well with that Nine of Pentacles. With the Nine of Swords, you have the Nine of Wands, all these Nines. <laughs> uh, multiple Nines to me represent newness, just in general. Nine of Wands is also my card of experimentation. So I feel it'd be a great time for you to experiment, try new things, um, come up with new ideas, probably in all areas of your life. Uh, you're actually the only sign that's gotten this so far. In 2022, every single sign had something about experimenting. So you're like the only one <laughs> that still has this experimentation energy. With the Judgment card, you have the Eight of Cups. Yeah, I feel this is you walking away from your old life. Uh, on the traditional Judgment card, the people are rising up from the coffins. The coffin represents their old life. Outside the coffin represents their new life. They're kind of like being called out towards their destiny or their purpose, which I'm pretty sure I said at the beginning of your reading. 
Uh, so that's pretty interesting. I really don't feel bad about that Eight of Cups at all. Uh, with the Hermit, you have the Eight of Swords. Again, Pisces had this card in the exact same position as well. Pretty interesting. Eight of Swords is only seeing one way of doing things. You know, I would say that this is a danger between now and 2025. I wouldn't call it a, da a danger. It's just really something I would be thinking about if I were a water sign, and I am. So I think about it all the time, right? <laughs> that with Neptune and Pisces, I kind of lean towards that being part of the problem. The other part of the problem is Uranus and Taurus. Too much, it's too fixed, Uranus and Taurus. Uh, the um, Neptune and Pisces, I feel, kind of makes things a little bit more murky, a little bit more cloudy, even though it is considered, you know, good for water. I kind of disagree with that, number one. Number two, I feel like it's good for intuition, but maybe we don't have kind of the markers that we normally would when we're making progress in life. With Neptune and Pisces, it's almost as if we have to make progress based off of our own inner voice, our own feelings, our own intuition. It's like there, we don't get the typical feedback that we normally would. So the Eight of Swords just says, you know, very easy solution. Don't only think that there's one way of doing things. There are multiple ways of doing things. This whole entire diagonal pretty much says that, you know, Six of Pentacles experimenting, Nine of Wands experimenting. So I would be experimenting. With the King of Pentacles in the moon, you have the Queen of Swords, seeing things clearly. And the fog is lifting, I will say. So if you've been experiencing that fogginess, the lack of clarity, not feeling like you don't know what to do, I do feel the fog is lifting. And with the uh, Knight of Cups, you have the Page of Wands, definitely time to go on an adventure. So I feel for a lot of you, you could be adventuring. You have that nine, uh, ninth house card in the Page of Wands. But these adventures, again, could be you learning something new. It could be you experimenting. That is an adventure, finding all the ways to run your business, right? And finding the best way. You could be really refining things. It's almost like this reading is a refinement process where it's like you have something good, but you I feel like you can make it better, whether it's a business, a relationship, or all of the above, or a hobby, could be your social life, could be anything that you want to fix or make better. And I feel this reading is kind of like talking about being a refining process. I also forgot to mention, I've forgotten to tell everybody that I'm going to pull five main themes that you're going to be dealing with over the next year as well. So we're just going to look and see <clears throat> what comes up here. You have this basket card. It says rec recognition, reward for merit. So if you've been working hard on something, I feel you will be receiving recognition. I said something about a gift over here as well. And there is like a gift basket on here. <laughs> so I feel you're receiving a gift or kind of like a leg up from the universe with this energy. And I feel you'll just like that in general. You also have this bread card. It says period of prosperity and abundance. Like I said, all three water signs, very prosperous, very abundant reading. So I do feel there's a lot of, you're, you're going to be getting that bread, uh, as they say, as the kids say, right, Cancer? Uh, next, you have this honor and respect will come to you, this crown card. Like I said, with that King of Wands, you're definitely stepping up into that King of Wands type of energy. He, to me, is a true entrepreneur, but he also really like nurtures things into existence. He knows how to take care of things and that's why he's successful. And again, even if you don't want to be an entrepreneur or a business owner, I feel like you are being entrepreneurial with the things that you're doing in your life. You're like really taking care of them in a good way. It could be your health, your uh, relationships, could be anything. And because of that, that's why you're finding success. Uh, you also have this owl card. It says, good advice from a wise person. We talked about this person right here, King of Pentacles, Moon card. To me, intuitively, I'm seeing that as one person. And I feel if this person is not already in your life, they will be coming into your life. You see them as wise. Like if you're saying to yourself, who is this person? I literally feel like the word that would be popping into your head is wise. When you think about that person, if you don't have this person in your life yet, I feel this is a person that over the next year could be entering into your life through friends. It's very clearly popping into my head as like a friendship situation, meaning that you'll meet this person through friends. I'm not saying this person couldn't be someone you love, by the way, either in the future. So it definitely could lead to a love situation, but I only feel that for you know very few of you. I really feel what's more important here is that this could be like a new business partner. Um, you know, it could just, but again, it could just be a friend that really kind of guides you is almost entering into your life as a guide. I don't know, I, I can think of a few friends that have kind of, led me in a certain direction, a positive direction. And that's what this feels like to me. And it's coming off as wisdom as well. So I feel their wisdom. Here's the thing is like, the interesting thing is that I'm getting off that owl card is they're not doing anything. <laughs> it's almost as if that just the things that they do in their own life, you could be looking up to this person, just because of how they live their life, you could be just using them as an example. It's not as if they're coming in with advice. I feel like if you ask them for advice, they'll give you advice. But that's not what I'm getting here. I feel like just this person 
is their existence is kind of the thing that is going to be very beneficial for you because I feel it's like someone who you can look up to. And again, gender doesn't matter. They're showing up as the king of pentacles. I feel it's just saying very stable, very predictable, you know, very hardworking. Their life is stable, right? I feel like you look at this person and you're just like, wow, I can't even tie my shoes in the morning like me, right? I can barely tie my shoes in the morning, but this person has their stuff together. So there you go. And uh, finally, you have this Hills card. It says obstacles to overcome. Uh, I definitely get this feeling for everyone um, because you have the Eight of Swords here and the Nine of Swords. Pisces also had both cards, I think. Um, you know, that I feel that things are going well, but sometimes when things go really well, when we have like a little bit of a hiccup, we immediately kind of go back to the past when we also had a hiccup and we think, oh, this is it. My business is going to fail or, oh, this is it. My relationship is going to fail. I feel like this is saying, no, there are always obstacles in life. Things are going well. Allow things to go well and just realize that there are always going to be obstacles to overcome, but you will you have the Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords represents obstacles that you can easily overcome. Uh, I really like this reading a lot, especially the second part where we got to that King of Wands with that Ace of Pentacles. Love it. Amazing. So thank you for being here, Cancer. Really appreciate it. Make sure to watch your Sun, Moon, Rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time, but thank you and definitely enjoy your month.